Hello everybody. The Warriors put away a injured but tough playing Blazers team. Otto Porter Jr. had a number of key baskets. He's done a great job this year as a role player. He's provided some scoring off the bench, hitting open three-pointers, and playing pretty tough defense and doing a good job being active getting rebounds. Here the Blazers are setting a stagger screen with Dennis Smith Jr. He had to play point guard with Damian Lillard and CJ injured. Otto Porter Jr. had to pick him up in transition, so he's going to fight over these screens. It's asking a lot for Otto Porter to keep up with the speedy Dennis Smith, but he does stay pretty close to him. Looney does have to rotate to stop Smith's drive. This allows Looney's man Nurkic to roll to the basket. So there is a little bit of a question in the Warriors defense. What do you do about this Nurkic roll? And Damian Lee does step over and put a hand on Nurkic, but that's not going to be enough to stop Nurkic. There's the roll. Damian Lee tags Nurkic, but Nurkic has very good inside position. Dennis Smith with a pretty sweet little dish to Nurkic, and Nurkic is just going to lay it up. And what's interesting is right after this is the defensive responsibility the Warriors are showing. I believe they're thinking that Wiggins really should have rotated here to pick up Nurkic. That's not an unusual NBA defensive scheme where the low weak side man, which means the player closest to the basket and on the other side from the ball rotates to pick up threats in the paint so that, that this high man can zone the people on the perimeter. So Nurkic will get his easy layup. And right afterwards, you can see Otto Porter is looking around saying, where was the help defense? And Andrew Wiggins is going to look at the other guys and pat himself on the chest and say, that was my fault. There. Here he is patting himself on the chest. That's my fault, my fault. And Damian Lee, little wave of the hand saying, okay, I saw you accepted responsibility. Starts off in horns formation, corners, elbows, top. It looks like something's happening on this side, but it's just going to turn into a quick dribble handoff to Otto Porter Jr. I believe the Warriors were expecting Nurkic to play drop defense here. There's the handoff. This defender is trying to pursue over the top, but he's a little bit late. Looney is definitely going to impede him with the screen. In theory, if Nurkic were up here, he could contest the shot, but they don't want him to do that. So they have him dropped way back here in case this man drives. Because Nurkic is on the slow side, but Otto Porter Jr. is probably not going to drive. Here he's pretty open for the shot and... He hits it. This play starts simply enough. Otto Porter Jr. is going to screen Dennis Smith Jr. early in the shot clock to get him off of Steph. He tries once to screen him off, and that was enough. It's like Red Rover come over, so Smith says, fine, I'll go with you. And this defender rotates to meet Steph. So Tony Snell is now dealing with Steph, and he does a pretty reasonable job staying with Steph. He stays with him and then also, I think, somewhat overplays him to try to run him off the three-point line. I think everyone and their brother knew that Steph had this three-point record at stake, and the Blazers were trying extra hard to spoil that, so they were overplaying the three for Steph. In the meantime, Otto Porter Jr. has now been picked up with a slight mismatch with Dennis Smith Jr., so he's just getting out of the area so Steph can go to work over here, and that's going to confuse the Blazers' defense here. The Otto Porter Jr. is going to wander over here. This defender was guarding Damian Lee, but now there's some confusion over exactly who's guarding Otto Porter Jr. And these two guys are just hanging around Otto. This guy seems a little bit mesmerized by what's happening with Steph. I don't know if these guys were also trying to decide who's going to rotate in case Steph blew by. But now Steph has picked up his dribble, so he's looking to pass. And he just throws this pretty looking pass to Damian Lee. Wung Norman Powell has to close out, Damian Lee attacks the closeout. That means that Dennis Smith Jr. is gonna to rotate to stop this drive by Damian Lee. So Otto Porter is going to clear out and make it a hard choice for Dennis Smith Jr. There, Otto Porter just gets out of town and he backs away and he's gonna clear out to space at the arc. Now Damian Lee has drawn two men on his drive and he nicely finds Otto Porter Jr. And this is a pretty, close contest, but Otto Porter Jr. is very capable of hitting these threes. 
the very next play, you can see that the Warriors often leave Otto Porter Jr. basically zoning the paint. The pick and roll is getting played with pick and roll principles, and Steph is zoning these two guys. Bielitz is guarding this fellow, but Otto Porter, it's his job to just rotate and discourage any kind of drive to the paint, and we've seen this in other games. Quick pick and roll, and Norman Powell is going to get by Damian Lee, so that should be a layup, right? Except that Otto Porter Jr. is here to rotate to meet the drive. There's a blow by. Otto Porter Jr. quite aggressively rotates. So he's right in the face of Powell. And this is quite a difficult position for him to find the open man. So one of these guys is the open man here. And Steph is zoning both of them. So this is not a bad job by Powell to figure out where the open man is in all of this. Especially since Larry Nance Jr. is somewhat optimistically saying, hey, I'm open, because he's really not open. He's being guarded by our center. Gary Payton the second. Uh -huh. So Powell gets through, he makes a good read in the traffic, and this ball does end up getting out to the arc. Not the cleanest pass. Ben McLemore will put the shot up. He pretty much has no choice. It's a low shot clock, and it is an open shot. And he misses. And this is a contested rebound because Larry Nance Jr. happens to be right here, and he can jump. So he's gonna go up for the ball, and Otto Porter Jr., he's a rebounding vacuum machine, he's going to contest this rebound and come away with it. With the help of Bielitsa, who just walks Larry Nance out of position with his moving box out. Nicely done. Warriors holding it for the last shot of the quarter. Portland is gonna to try to spring a last second trap on Steph. This is not Steph's first rodeo. Here's Steph's man, here's the man rotating to him, who leaves Bielitsa, so Steph immediately finds Bielitsa. Dennis Smith Jr. alertly switches onto Bielitsa, but is now going to do his slow old man drive, which just is weirdly effective. And he's going to threaten to make it all the way to the basket, which makes Larry Nance Jr. rotate. I don't know about this rotational scheme. Like I mentioned, it's more typical in NBA defenses for the low weak man to rotate because then it's easier for this player to zone both the corner and the wing man. And Otto Porter Jr. is going to clear out to the wing. So Larry Nance Jr. rotates. The Elitza is looking around. Otto Porter Jr. is holding up his hand saying, I volunteer as tribute. He's completely open. Bielitsa with a nice pass. This defender seems a teeny bit confused about where to go. He seems to be taking a step towards Steph. No one ever got fired for following Steph, which makes him a little bit too late to turn to contest a shot from OPJ. OPJ Trey. On this play, Gary Payton the second, GP2 is going to break new ground in celebrations. Never seen a celebration like this before, so here's Otto Porter Jr. about to put up the three. As it goes up, GP2 is going to kneel down to the ground. Joink. Like he's, I don't know what he's doing. Is he knocking wood for good luck? Is he dowsing for water? And when he sees the, th the three point go through, he's gonna stick out his left arm and put up a very low OK three. Ta-da. Very elegant. It's like a classical sculpture or something. I like that little twirly dismount he did. The play starts innocently enough. Larry Nance Jr. is pointing because Steph Curry is over here. So it's very good that the Blazers are trying to keep track of Steph. Steph immediately cuts and it looks like it's going to be pinned down screen. His defender is going to slip and fall to the ground. I think even if he hadn't slipped, Larry Nance Jr. was going to switch to Steph. There's a switch. Larry Nance Jr. switches to Steph. Steph's defender also comes to Steph. Bielitsa set a micro screen and immediately slipped, possibly because he saw that Steph's defender was following. Now there are two on the ball. Who's open? Well, Bielitsa is open right here. This is not Steph's first rodeo. Whips it over to Bielitsa. Bielitsa's cut forced Covington to rotate out of the corner. That leaves Tony Snell here to guard two men, Otto Porter Jr. and Damian Lee is over here just off camera. This is just such smart basketball. You never want one man to be able to defend two, so they get away from each other. Otto Porter Jr. pops out to the wing. Damian Lee 
cuts along the baseline, forcing Snell to make a choice, and he's trying to split the difference, but he's definitely closer to Damian Lee. Bielitsa, no hesitation, wings it over to OPJ. This defender has rotated all the way back into the play, so he's making a pretty good effort to contest this, but the effort might be a little too good. OPJ puts it up, and he gets him pretty hard on the arm and it falls through. Juan Toscano Anderson comes over to help celebrate. You can't see a celebration too well, but we know from past videos that Juanito likes to go for the I'm a rootin' tootin', three-point shootin' Yosemite Sam celebration, and I think he's going to shoot Otto Porter Jr. with the rootin' tootin' guns. Bang, 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 bang. And then he helps him up. In the replay, you can see that Otto Porter Jr. ended up getting some chiropractic help from the referee over here, which is why it took him a little longer to get up. And maybe also this is really good for spine alignment to roll against a firm surface. You have to check what I said with a real doctor. You know what? Steph has got the OK3 and he holds up the one because it's an and one play. Very nice move. And just in case you didn't get it, you saw him count one, two, three, and then do we got one more coming. Four. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Steph. We were a little uncertain how much the three plus one would be, but we've confirmed it's four. So in the end, this is a pretty good night's work. 18 strong minutes off the bench, hitting four out of five threes to punish the double teams and the rotations, and a four-point play to take it to a 14-point lead. That's going to give the Warriors the cushion they need to get out of this game. Great job by Automatic Auto Porter Jr.